along with yourself, Gary and JM. There's another gentleman on stage that's been around for a good amount of time, Mr. Kim Odo. And uh, what I want to ask him specifically is with you having so many years of experience in this sport, you've seen everyone, everything. And what a lot of people don't know about you is that you are certified through the CME, obesity and eating disorder management with physical and mental challenges. So I was asking when you get a client who struggles with these things and comes to you and is, you know, telling their struggles, how do you handle that as a coach? Well, I wanted to understand every aspect of, you know, what women went through with training because I think everyone knows as much as we know as trainers, we are our, we're our own worst critics and we are hard on ourselves. And so I wanted to understand and get a better working knowledge of eating disorders, not from a point of trying to correct it or fix it. I just wanted to be able to understand it, know what the triggers were so I could stay away from the triggers that would set that off and then be able to refer people to professionals you know, that understand and know how to work and deal with eating disorders. It's a very tricky um, conundrum that you have because we have this relationship with food that is supposed to be healthy and supposed to be nourishing, but then how we look at it through our emotions and how we process our thoughts based on where we are with the pressures around us it changes our thoughts on how we view what nutrition is supposed to be. So I, I think it's very important, you know, because when you're training with men and women, it's two completely different avenues. You know, you drive men because we're basically testosterone driven and we're, you know, you push us, you, you can starve us, you can beat us, you can, you know, and we're okay. With girls, there's an emotional factor that comes into play that is way more delicate than we ever know. And so I wanted to be able to understand that those triggers from an emotional standpoint and understand how and you know I would motivate people without motivating to the fact that they felt guilty or they felt the need to utilize food as either a binge or you know or anorexia where they used it for the wrong tool. So, you know, the CME is the continuing medical, uh, the continuing medical education. And I wanted to understand the medical aspects because I didn't want to just under think about food and the psychology of it. I call it the psychology of deprivation where how we feel when we get deprived. I wanted to understand the medical act, the components to it of, okay, now how does that medically change what the chemical reaction is with dopamine and what that chemical reaction is in the brain that can set us off in the wrong direction. So I, I think it's a good thing for everybody to look into. Uh, as trainers, I think it's our, our clients or our responsibility, your health and your emotional welfare. We should take a pride in that and try to protect it and preserve it. And um, so I always wanna you know, put the best best representation of my work that is in a healthy format hey kim kim sound check kim that was awesome man i you know it's funny you know some of us think that just training eating right and doing cardio leads you to the stage and, and yes it, it does but that mental aspect is, is so key to that so i appreciate you sharing that now i was having a conversation